What are we really doing when we're trying to teach listening? Listening is a kind of a mysterious skill because it seems that it just happens. The oral language is out there. People either understand it or they don't understand it. How can we actually teach someone to listen better? We want to get some insight on the question from our expert today. He is Professor Gary Oakey, and he teaches at Iowa State University. He has taught English in Taiwan and in Japan. I asked Professor Oki how he became interested in listening, and this is what he said. How did you get interested in listening? The way I want to do this is two things. I want to start out by talking about my teaching experience and how that got me interested in focusing on listening. And then I'm going to talk briefly about my own language learning experience and how that also made me think quite a bit about listening. So as I mentioned earlier, I started teaching English in Taiwan when I was in my early 20s. And I was teaching what was said to be a conversation class in uh, those schools. But I discovered quite soon that while people really referred to this as speaking and conversation, there was a whole lot of listening. Without listening, you couldn't really do a whole lot of speaking. So I began emphasizing listening in my conversation classes because I felt that this helped the students to learn better. So I would have them do a lot of listening, I would have them listen to each other, I would have them listen to me, and I would have them listen to a lot of, a lot of media. And as a result, I feel like their speaking improved just from um, actually listening. The other thing is at that school is we gave speaking tests, but I soon discovered that since those speaking tests were based on questions that were given orally, the students struggled more probably because of their listening skills and their speaking skills. So this also got me thinking about uh, listening. And finally, I want to talk just briefly about my own study experience. So I spent a number of years studying Japanese and I was constantly being told that my listening was just not very good. I always got lowest scores on the listening section of the test. I did, I'd do much better on the reading and writing and even the speaking, but my listening was just not very good. And so it made me think seriously about what I needed to do as a listener to become better at a language. So that also got me thinking and interested in listening as compared to the other skills. Professor Oki noticed that whenever there is a class called speaking or conversation, it really means that the students need to do a lot of listening. He noticed that when he increased the listening practice for his EFL students, he found their speaking improved. And he also noticed the importance of listening when he studied Japanese himself. He said he had a lot of trouble understanding oral language. He said that his own experiences made him want to find strategies for teaching listening better to his EFL students. I asked Professor Oki to tell us why he thinks that listening is so important for English learners. He said that it is obvious. There is so much to listen to on the internet today. Let's listen. <laughs> 